I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I welcome you to this broadcast or this post. When we went to the churches to give money to people who were hawking, who were doing petty businesses, I noticed a few people among them who had some character traits that I have been observing over the years that are associated with such character traits are associated with stunted social development in terms of wealth, in terms of rising status, in terms of several things that people who never maximize their potentials fully or who never reach their peak. I'm not trying to generalize, I'm just stating phenomena that I have observed. And there's, there are going to be a series of videos that I will make. I will take my bearing from Genesis chapter 49, from verse 1. Then Jacob called together all his sons and said, Gather around me, and I will tell you what will happen to each of you in the days to come. Come and listen, you sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. Verse 4. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my strength, the child of my vigorous youth. You are first in rank and first in power, but you are as unruly as a flood. You will be first no longer, for you went to bed with my wife. You defiled my marital couch. I noticed that a group of people were quite restless. And I wrote down, were these people poor because of their attitude of restlessness? Or it is restlessness that causes people to be poor? If you go to a burial ceremony, you will see one poor man dancing up and down, jumping up and down. Then you will see the rich. They are properly seated and calm. Now, if you go to any function, you will see poor people are usually the ones that run out to answer their phone calls. The rich will sit down calmly. During the primaries of the two political parties, I noticed that it were, the poor were those dancing, those singing, those hollering, while the rich sat calmly, including President Babangida Oshibanjo of the APC and in the PDP, the same thing. Why is it that restless people usually will not do well in life? Number one, restlessness is associated with recklessness. You see, Real Ben had great potentials. He was first born. He was the strength of the father's youth. He was first in rank and first in power. But says he's as unruly as the flood. When we told the people to sit down, some of them refused to sit down. I noticed some would just move up and down from one seat to the other. I noticed an usher, she was not even paying attention to the lecture, you will find out that when you go to several denominations, you will see people controlling traffic. Controlling traffic. They will wear jackets controlling traffic. Go and check what they do for a living. There was one I noticed 23 years back. He was the one controlling traffic. It's not that we can't do jobs in the church, but till today, he is still where he is. You will notice some ushers in the church. Some of them don't progress. You will notice an evangelist that is going from conference to conference, city to city, town to town, preaching, nothing to show. For you to do well in life, you need to be calm. When you are calm, you are able to reason well. When you are calm, you are able to see opportunities and harness them. 
Some people are too restless. If they enter a vehicle, you will see them, they are pressing this button. Some of my drivers, if I give them my vehicle to drive, they are pressing this button, pressing this button. You can be very intelligent. If you are not intentionally calm, you cannot excel. You will definitely make mistakes. You will definitely take reckless actions. I was comparing Peter O.B. and one governor from one of the South-South states. Oh, he was hyper excited. He will sing, he will dance, the, his band will sing for him. It is true that he commissioned so many projects. But I was ashamed to see him going to bow down for Akpabio, that he also yabbed one time. I would have thought that for his position, the wealth he has accumulated, the status he, has, he had attained, that he will become a political figure from the South-South, just like as will be a two-time governor, has become a strong political force. But he was unstable. He will romance with PDP, romance with APC, romance with OB, and he will say he will not be this very un unstable. If you are unstable, people cannot trust you. If you are unstable, you cannot keep to agreements. If you are unstable, you will be unreliable. One of the key issues that you need in your life is the ability to calm yourself. When I calmed myself, I did better. People will say I'm a brilliant person. I did not maximize my potentials in the university. I did not maximize my potentials in secondary school. I was quite restless. It was after at the age of 56 when I went to do a master's in public admin and I had attained maturity and self-discipline to calm down that I made an exceptional result. And today, those the, the things I learned there have helped me. The books I wrote, I required calmness to write them. Whatever I am doing today, I, it is the calmness I've learned to cultivate, put my spirit under check and control that has helped me. Impulsivity is a very wrong attitude to cultivate. You will talk anyhow, quarrel anyhow, comment anyhow. When I make posts, I will look at the people who are making reckless comments. When you go to their profiles, nothing to show. That's the same spirit of recklessness, restlessness, turbulence that leads to lack of maximizing the inability to maximize your potentials. I beg you today, learn this lesson. Be calm. Be like the crocodile. When I watch crocodiles in the, in the river, they are there, they will be still. The Bible says, be still and know that I'm God. The crocodile will be still. Then until, when an opportunity comes, it will launch forward. Same thing with a lion. Same thing with a leopard. We we'll walk with very soft steps, very calm, waiting for the target, waiting for the opportunity. But the gazelle, the antelope, they are jumping on up and down, the turkey, the whatever in the bush, they are running up and down. The hog, the bush pig, running up and down. Learn to be calm. Learn to be intentional. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you. Subscribe to this channel. Go to my uh, petrapublications.com, my online bookstore. You will see several videos. There are close to a thousand videos in my YouTube channel. So it's like a university on its own. And then I have properties for sale. If you want them, send me a message on plus 234-7052-136763. If you want to join my mentorship group, send a message to 070-5213-6763 on WhatsApp. God bless you. Stay tuned for more lectures.